My friends were having a fundraiser for their sorority and they sold coffee. They had this Nutella latte that's so good. It's like the first week of April right now. Somehow, me and two other roommates got it. So that really threw off my plans for March. As I got COVID, I kind of fell into this deep rabbit hole, started watching Game of Thrones, and I binged five seasons of it. Did not see the sunlight for eight days. <laughs> Pretty much just been a blob for the entire month of March. Just trying to sit out the last of winter. For that period of time, I was so unmotivated. Wasn't really productive for school. Wasn't really productive for YouTube. Then I checked the calendar a few days ago. And I saw that it was April 1st. It's April 4th, that means there's like five weeks left of school. The spring blossoms are blooming and stuff. It's time to get my together. I have so, so much that I want to and have to do in this upcoming month. My birthday is also this month, which is... Oh. This week, I want to have the most productive week ever. It's the first week of April, and I pretty much just want to kick off this week in the strongest possible way. So I picked a different cafe for every day of the week in hopes that I'll be able to get a lot more work done than if I were to just go home like normally. But first, a quick intermission. Being alone with your thoughts can be a really isolating feeling. After quarantining for 10 days, I felt so intimidated to return to normal life and I just did not feel ready to face the world. But talking to my therapist really helped me rationalize the situation and get me back on track. So many thanks to BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers phone calls, video calls, and live chat sessions. There's a broad range of expertise in their network of 20,000 plus therapists, which otherwise might not be readily available in your area. You'll fill out a questionnaire to assess your needs, and then you get matched to a therapist in under 48 hours. From there, you can exchange messages or schedule video or phone sessions, and everything you share is completely confidential. My therapist, Evelyn, also sends me approaches I can take towards handling some of my anxious tendencies. You can also request a new therapist anytime free of charge. So if this sounds like a good fit to you, then join the over 2 million people who are taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced, BetterHelp therapist. And feel free to visit betterhelp.com slash Bridget Gong for 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Thank you guys for listening and let's head back into the video.
connects into <laughs> shock. <laughs> around 4 30 right now i just finished my last class for monday except i realized i forgot my laptop charger and my laptop is dead not a great start we'll just briefly pop into a cafe and i'll start planning my paper in my notebook on drafting my film response paper and I want to take my Freud transference paper to the next stages um, and then I also have to wrap up a YouTube video. I got their cold brew but infused with oats. Let's get the taste test. That tastes like cold brew but you can taste that it's infused. We have some cold drinks. chance of rain tomorrow and Thursday even though I will be walking around everywhere from class to coffee shops it's the first week of April and I guess I didn't realize how far into the semester we were so projects that have been ongoing honestly should be reaching their final stages by now um, which is really 
intimidating in between quizzes and two papers that I have due. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore to be honest. Anyway, let's head home. this from Trader Joe's, so we'll see how good frozen linguine with clam sauce can be. I'm actually a coffee fiend. I must seem insane. Getting coffee every day for this week at least is kind of a must because I can't really work in a cafe for a few hours if I don't get anything. But yeah, you know inflation these days? always a completely different vibe than first semester because most of it is just like this dreary and gray and you never want to leave your house. March and April is about the time where I feel like everybody's burned out and then comes allergies but then the end of the tunnel you get back to summer and then the whole cycle repeats itself again. But also I don't know these couple of months have just been kind of dead as I feel like it always is but then it gets better I think so Stick with me, we got this, we do. Throughout our lives, we're constantly coming of age. It's not just during our transition from childhood to adulthood. After spending my entire life in a sheltered suburb, I feel like I'm genuinely growing up again in a whole new way that I haven't before. I'm turning 21 in a few weeks. Truly growing up, but at the same time, not truly. <laughs> because on the other hand, I've, I feel like I've hardly grown up at all. This project that I'm working on is meant for those who are getting older and bigger, but still living in the shadow of our younger, freer selves. Trying to come to terms with or grapple with constraints that we feel are holding us back, dreaming about a life that never was. Ever since I entered college three years ago, the world has changed so fast and I can hardly recognize it anymore, not to mention keep up. For me, college life, contrary to what I thought, is not really a life of parties and independence and new friends and, and majors, internships. It's also this really strong emotional experience where you start to actually realize the things that adults have been telling you your whole life. And you start to realize these things for yourself for the first time. 
But all that is something I can't really express with words. And there's so much I want to say about what this transition feels like. And so I'm turning to a different medium in hopes of telling that story. <clears throat> so yeah, lots to process there. Same here, still trying to process it all, especially how to get all of that down into a final pitch that will be due in around 48 hours from now.